Uh, today with us is uh, the German ambassador, Miss uh, Christine Alkauser. Uh, welcome to our new studio here in uh, MacFax TV. Uh, you are leaving the country very soon. Uh, how you will describe the events uh, the last years that uh, you witnessed here in Macedonia? Yeah, first of all, many thanks for the invitation. Mm -hmm. I heard it's a premiere. Mm -hmm. So congratulations to this nice studio, and I'm happy to be, to be here as your guest. Mm -hmm. um, you asked a, a very, how to say, a, a difficult question, and uh, mm -hmm. how much time do we have? Because there as are much many, as <laughs> many things uh, to be said. So one is, thing is for sure, it was never boring in this country the last uh, 35, uh, 36 months I've spent here. So many events, a constant flow of events, um, uh, wiretapping scandal, pre report, uh, way up to Pugino, uh, running up to elections and installation of the special prosecutor's office, uh, Kumanovo events and the dreadful events in uh, yeah, end of April, t uh, 27th uh, of April, and, and finally the formation of a new government. But that's more of an enumeration. I think you were asking me how to describe that. Mm. So, and um, frankly, it's not easy to find a common denominator, but if I would like to find one, then I would say change, um, a strong political will, another kind of participation. So um, participation, interaction, also by citizens. So lots of demonstrations, manifestations, uh, which brought along a change. So if I would try to sum up this time, these two keywords, uh, political will, to, to come to a different kind of society and participation from the side of society. These, for me, are the key words. We have new government here in Macedonia now. Are you encouraged by the first moves? And what do you think will be the most important for them to take as a priority? Um, yes, uh, I am encouraged. I think they have been taken very bold and courageous steps. So on the outside, keyword Bulgaria, Greece, the first visit of the new foreign minister Dimitrov to Athens, but uh, in, the, or in the interior as, as well, so 369 plan, which is a very, also a very courageous step. Actually, it's a prolongation or continuation of um, a roadmap you already had with um, keywords, so re-establishment or establishment of rule of law, accountability, uh, reforms in judiciary, media sector, no imp impunity for, for anybody. Um, yes, uh, all these things enlisted uh, in the previous roadmaps. So um, this adoption of 369, that's a very um, significant uh, first step, but uh, it's only it's only the start now. Yeah, it should uh, be accomplished. Yeah, exactly, the implementation and the how to carry on uh, this thing. That's the important, um, uh, the important task. And, but I wouldn't like to stop with the government. So I think the um, one essential change is also taking place in the parliament. So there's also a lot of talk of inclusiveness to hear to the others, to hear to the outside world, to, to hear to civil society. So the parliament actually is a, is a place for debate. And if the parliament is regaining that place, I think that's a very good sign. Um, yeah, Parliament, you can dwell on, on how it's composed and who is participating. And uh, there is always a very important role also for the opposition. And I do hope that the opposition is playing a very significant part in, in this parliamentary work because it always takes two to tango. So mm -hmm. they have to feed in with their opinions. But um, you asked me, um, 
what um, Berlin would like to see or what I would like mm -hmm. to see. So I think the, the first and foremost wish is, of course, to, uh, to make this reform agenda, which is, frankly, it's a huge one, to make it, to, to make it live, so to make it work. So, but um, that's not only the wish of, of Berlin or Brussels. Mm -hmm. So all the reforms done in this country are not in the sake for in the sake of Brussels or so, Berlin, but they are or will be done for the sake of the citizens here in the country. Speaking about the first move of, moves of the government, there is a lot of noise about uh, the decision to sign the agreement with Bulgaria mm -hmm. and also to celebrate together uh, Ilinden. Mm -hmm. How do you see uh, this nervousness here in Macedonia about this event? Reactions which are not very positive. Yeah, but uh, I also had very positive reactions. I think mm -hmm. it's a very courageous step. Uh, so uh, to come to another relationship with with, with neighbors. So uh, that's that's also that's very proactive. And I think um, after all, it's a win-win situation uh, for uh, for all the uh, the countries uh, in the region. So I brought a piece of paper, so we just had in, in Berlin, in, not in Berlin, in Hamburg, the G20 summit, so shaping an interconnected world. And uh, the subtitle is, we can achieve more together than by acting alone. I think mm. that's true everywhere, also in this region. So to come to a, a better understanding with Bulgaria is a big step forward. And I wish all the best at the uh, beginning of August, uh, uh, yeah, the, the signing of the treaty uh, and, and the celebration will go in a proper way. Uh, as you uh, had the same experience in Germany uh, with uh, celebrating with France, do you see a, uh, something uh, that can be negative in uh, the next development? Something negative that can uh, provoke some reaction, things like that. No, I, uh, frankly, I, uh, I don't see that. I see the win-win situation for all parties concerned. And um, once you spoke about uh, our French-German uh, experience, yes. which is very valid, and which we are also in this country, together with our French colleagues in, in, in the French Embassy, we are celebrating every year the Elysee tri Treaty, but not only that, mm -hmm. so also amnesties uh, together, many other things, uh, also directed to, to the young people. So I think there's a benefit of all parties concerned and our cooperation, so the French-German, that's just an example, but we had also in this country, we had a, a, a common event together with the Polish colleagues mm -hmm. to remind of the um, 25th anniversary of the treaty on good neighborhood relations mm -hmm. between Germany and Poland. So, um, lots of celebrations. In, yes, also here in this field, so in the uh, external field, if there is a political will, you can achieve it. So it, mm. it, it takes courage and um, I think it will work. I only see uh, a benefit, a positive one. Thank you. Uh, recently, Mr. Roth was here in Macedonia. Mm -hmm. He gave strong statements about uh, the name dispute. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you comment the Greek nervousness after the statements? Is uh, Germany ready to, to help? Mm. We spoke already about it. There is a, a new page in, um, in Macedo Macedonian policy, a very proactive one. Uh, mm. There's a lot of talk about a new chapter on the external and on the internal side. So, and I think uh, everybody has to perhaps to accustom to that proactive mood. Um, so uh, we always said that um, the solution of this very complicated, I know it's very complicated, it's not only about the name, I learned a lot frankly being here for three years, it's not only about the name, it's about identity and many other things, but uh, first and foremost the solution has to be found between the parties concerned. If the 
could be somehow given from outside, for instance by Germany, but um, of course by the EU or others, we would be pleased to do so. But first and foremost, so the solution has to be found between the two. If there is now a step forward, and I said it's a very proactive uh, mood now in uh, Macedonian foreign policy, I think that's, uh, that would be very yeah, positive. Um, one week ago, uh, the Berlin uh, process uh, continued in Tri Trieste. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a summit of the Balkan leaders. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, since Germany started this process, are you happy with the accomplishments or you expected more? <laughs> um, first, let me say a word to the naming. It's it's called Berlin process, but it was, it, it's labeled like that, but it was always a, a European approach. Oh. So, you know, Berlin, one year later Vienna, and then Paris, and now Trieste. So it's, uh, it's a common process together with the uh, Western Balkan countries. Um, first, um, first time taking place in Berlin in August 2014. Expectations. Um, it's not an it's not an alternative, something like that, to EU accession. It's a plus. It's an added value. And I would like to to recall the the speech given by Foreign Minister Gabriel at the end of May this year. He's speaking in Berlin about the Berlin process, saying there's a lot of benefit but it's, we have to do more. Mm -hmm. All of us, we have to do more. We have to engage more. That's true for Germany. So um, Gabriel mentioned some additional Berlin plus, or no. however you call it, some uh, additional ideas, ideas like an mm -hmm. IT summit, vocational training. I personally am very happy, and I think that's really a benefit also from the Berlin process that RICO, the regional youth Cooperation Office put in place last year is now going to work. That's really a, a tremendous step forward because uh, it's about, yeah, connectivity coming together, better understanding, and perhaps also reconciliation. What is the sense to have Great Britain as next uh, organizer of the summit? Because you know that Britain will start negotiation to go out of EU. Mm -hmm. And if they organize the summit, it's a strange, uh, how to say, message. <laughs> Somebody who is going out of EU to, to speak about the uh, EU process of... No. Yeah, but uh, of course, uh, I can't speak for, 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 for the British colleagues here. We have a, a extremely good cooperation mm -hmm. here on the ground. Uh, and uh, Brit uh, Great Britain is extremely interested and committed to the region here, mm -hmm. so it's good uh, to make use of that experience. So I'm looking forward for next year's summit. Would you agree with the, uh, with the feeling here that the former uh, Prime Minister Nikola Gruevski is political history of uh, Macedonia? Or maybe we should trust him when he say that he's going to come back on power. If he comes uh, back to power, what uh, does it mean, what it will mean for Macedonia and for the party? The former prime minister is still the leader of the, uh, the biggest opposition party. Uh, so uh, I think it's up to the, the party members to, to discuss these issues. Um, we are talking, or the country is talking a lot about restart, restarting EU accession, restarting e, uh, NATO uh, accession. So perhaps there should also be a, a restart in, inside the political parties. But uh, as I said, that's up to that's up to the party members, to the parties themselves. As I said before, it takes all this. Uh, uh, at least two to tango. Mm -hmm. I think you have a wonderful Macedonian dance, so all. Uh, mm -hmm. So um, it, the participation, again, that keyword, participation of uh, all um, 
the parties concerned is needed. Otherwise, uh, this huge reform work um, would be very difficult to, to pursue. So it needs the parliament, uh, uh, the government, and the opposition in, in parliament, the uh, civil society, and all the other stakeholders. Mm -hmm. Uh, we see pressures from international community, uh, opposition to be included in, uh, in the process. Do you think uh, that Vomero can be constructive, having in mind what happened in the parliament uh, one week or two weeks ago, when they created ten parliamentary groups? I can't speak uh, for, for the party, and for me a party is never um, existing only by one leader, there are mm -hmm. others. And you mentioned the one thing, so the, the splitting up into ten factions, mm -hmm. which is something new, so uh, was a surprise. But on the other hand, uh, take uh, the declaration passed last Friday, by the Committee on EU Affairs on, on the 369 government plan for uh, carrying out the reform work. So, and it was adopted by all the members. So that's a very positive sign. So let's wait and see. And I, I think you will have a, a very uh, exciting uh, autumn to come uh, once again, uh, <clears throat> political life coming back uh, in September. In the zone, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, my last question, uh, you are living from Skopje, where? Um, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going from, uh, from Skopje to another town, with, uh, first uh, with the initial S to uh, Shanghai, uh, a very big city in China, mm -hmm. uh, looking forward to that. Uh, I um, will miss Macedonia, mm -hmm. your country, uh, very much. Thank you.